help. Open. Help. You want to help open? Okay. Do you want to go? Yeah. Okay, go. Be free. Hi, and welcome back to our series on picky eating and the best ways to get your kids to eat. So in today's episode, I wanted to talk all about high chairs and why we recommend certain high chairs over other high chairs. This is my son, and he's going to be our great little model of these high chairs. Baby, you are the baby. Are you the baby? Yeah. Yeah. So um, I'll no, tell you. No. no, are you all done? But I do want to actually, in this high chair, while I have his attention, go through the 90-90 rule. It's really important when you find... You want to eat? Yes. Okay, we'll eat in a second. You want to, um, can you wait one second? Okay, we'll wait. Um, I want to go through the 90-90 rule. It's really important that the child's back is at a 90 degree angle, their knees at a 90 degree angle, and their legs. You got a boo-boo. It hurts. Does it hurt? Yeah. Okay. So um, the reason that it's so important to do 90-90-90 so they always say never work with kids or animals. I think we know why. Um, it's really important that kids' feet are supported. So if you have a chair that doesn't support feet, they end up getting a little bit more fidgety and they don't eat as well or stay at the table as long. So you might wanna figure out if you already have a chair and it doesn't support the feet, you might wanna put yellow pages on it or you know some other way to prop their feet up so they can have a 90-90-90 angle. Um, they, they really wanna support their own back even though they have a backrest. They, you you want to encourage that good posture for eating. It helps yeah, with mama. digestive. Yes, honey. Yes. So the beauty of these types of chairs is that you can pull them right up to the table and they can actually sit at the table, enjoy being social. And that's really what eating is. It's a social time for children. They have a chance to look at you and mimic what you're doing. And that in turn lets them, you know, encourages them to try new foods because they see you eating these foods. So I do really encourage that if you have one of those chairs, that you haven't gotten a chair, that you match the chair to the height of your table. If you have a bar um, height table, get a higher um, high chair. And if you have a lower table like this one, just a regular table, get a chair that's much lower. You don't want your child to be at this really high you know, chair and the rest of the family is at this lower table. It kind of you know, divides them. Um, so you know, that's one of the, the best things you can do to get your kids to eat and eat well is is bring them in with the family, encourage them to sit with you. I really, you know, I can promise you this is much messier than when I had a tray. Um, I had this chair initially, and, and really the occupational therapist looked at, especially my daughter, she was really slouching, so she's leaned back in it. And, um, and my, the legs weren't supported in this chair, and, and she, she, you know, she said this just isn't a good eating environment for her. Um, so then we went ahead and upgraded to these chairs. The beauty of these types of chairs, and there's, there's tons of brands um, on the website that they vary in price, so you know go through it. Almost all of them that we have on the site encourage the 90-90-90. Some of the other ones are travel ones, so that's that's why. Um, but this chair actually holds up to 150 pounds. It's the Hawk Alpha, and they can use it up until about age five. And the cool thing is, you just unscrew these and you keep dropping it. I don't know if you can see these right here, but you just keep dropping it as they get older and bigger. So we dropped it you know, one time for the legs and we'll just keep dropping it as they get bigger. So that's great. And then if you have a couple different kids, you, you know, we have twins, so if they grow at different rates, we can customize it to each, each child. Um, so I definitely do want to encourage that you look for a chair that has this foot leg support, a chair that lets you, you know, sit with the kids at the table. And I just encourage you guys to try to eat together as a family as often as you can. And those are all great strategies to get your kids to eat and, and eat well. So come back, um, subscribe to our YouTube channel, uh, visit us on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram, we're, we're everywhere, and we look forward to uh, seeing you next time. Thanks so much. Bye.